three weeks we've been talking about the Platt Amendment. What are you people? On dope? A piece of legislation was introduced into Congress by Senator John Platt. It was passed in 1906. This amendment to our Constitution has a profound impact upon all of our... Where is Jeff Spicoli? I saw him earlier today near the first floor bathrooms. Is he still on campus? Anyone? Yes, Desmond? I saw him by the food machines. How long ago? Right before class. Okay. Bring him in. What is this fascination with truancy? What is it that gets inside your heads? There are some teachers in this school who look the other way at truancy. It's a little game that you both play. They pretend they don't see you, you pretend you don't ditch. Now, who pays the price later? You. Wait a minute, there's no birthday party for me here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Han. What's the reason for your truancy? Just couldn't make it on time. You mean you couldn't or you wouldn't? It was like a full crowd scene at the food lines. Food will be eaten on your time. Why are you continuously late for this class, Mr. Spicoli? Why do you shamelessly waste my time like this? I don't know. <laughs> That's nice. Mr. Han, will I pass this class? Gee, Mr. Spicoli, I don't know. That's nice. I really like that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave your words on this board for all my classes to enjoy. Giving you full credit, of course, Mr. Spicoli. All right. working here, no one's ever gonna want to take me out. I guess Ron hasn't called yet, huh? Not since November. Stacy, what does it matter? He's a stereo salesman. What do you want to do, marry him? Have kids with him? Have this guy come home, 50 years old and bald? <laughs> have that little Pacific stereo sign on? Come on, Stacy. Hey, it's his loss. Got any Blue Oyster Cult? No. I don't have any blue oyster cult. I ate 34 pairs last time around. Where were you? I was that close to working at 7-Eleven, you know. Whoa, what? What? All right, play me. Tell him. All right. You got quarters? Well, when are those Earth, Wind, and Fire tickets coming in? Earth, Wind, and Fire? Jeez, uh, I haven't heard anything, but... The, mi the minute I do, I'll let you know. So you know, I'm planning on taking my little brother over here. Is that your little brother? <laughs> He's a good-looking kid. Uh, great. Charles Jefferson for Earth, Wind, and Fire, and a little brother. And I'll let you know when they come around, okay? Wow, does he really live here? I thought he just flew in for games. Shit, he knows where to come when he wants some tickets. All right, now go on, get out of here. Hey, you're messing up my business. Come on, Brad. Let's go get you a woman. You ready for your moment of truth? You know, the moment I noticed I was starting to get a pimple this morning. Brad, and I thought maybe I... the shyness routine is really starting to aggravate me. I mean, now, who is she anyways, right? She's a waitress in a pizza parlor. Now, look at her. Look at you. 